In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little jacket for girls between 9 and 12 months old. Now you can also make it smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. I'd say between 3 and 6 months and up to 18 to 24 months. So be sure to check that out. Also, at the end of the tutorial, I leave you the finished measurements. And remember, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Now, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll be adding the written instructions there and I'll leave the link to the Etsy shop in the comments and in the information box below. Now make sure to comment and let me know what you think about this little cardigan sweater and if you want me to make the matching pants or the matching bonnet or anything else I'll gladly go ahead and do that for you all. Okay so let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. If you're in the US, you can use any number three yarn. I'll be using in this white color, and I may change to another color. You'll see at the end what it looks like. I'll let you know when I'm going to change color though. Okay, so here to begin, I have 62 chains. The stitch multiple to the base chain is multiples of four plus two. Now this chain here is measuring about 13 inches, which is about 33 centimeters. Now, if you're off by half an inch or less, it's okay, just continue with the next step. So here to begin on the third chain from the hook, one, two, three, make a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the third chain, grab a loop, three loops, close. Again into the next chain, same thing, make one half double crochet. Into the next half double crochet and so on. This is all we're going to do for this first row. One half double crochet for each one of these chains. Now continue and I'll meet you at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have 60 half double crochets plus the two chains here at the beginning. Now for the second row, chain two and turn. From here on, these two chains never count as a stitch. Now to begin here, we're going to make three double crochets. So beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three. Now into the next half double crochet, make two double crochets. This is how we're going to continue for the second row. So again, we're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three double crochets, and into the next two double crochets. Continue for this second row and repeat the same thing. You're going to make three double crochets and into the next two. And then again, three double crochets and into the next two. I'm here at the end of the second row. I have 74 double crochets. Here at the end, I finished by making four double crochets. Now for the third row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, we're going to make four double crochets. One, two, three, four, and into the next two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three, four double crochets, and into the next two double crochets. Again, you're going to repeat the same thing. Make four double crochets. One, two, three, four, into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for this third row. You're going to make four double crochets and into the next two. Continue to the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 88 double crochets. Here at the end, I finish by making four double crochets. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, we're going to make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and into the next two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five double crochets and into the next two double crochets, one and two. 
this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fourth row. You're going to make five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and into the next two. And then again, repeat the same thing. Make five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and into the next two. At the end of this fourth row, we're going to have 102 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have a total of 102 double crochets. Now for the fifth row, chain two, and turn. Now in this row we're going to make six double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and into the next two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet, that's one, two, three, four, five, Six double crochets and into the next two double crochets one and two this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fifth row you're going to make six double crochets one two three four five six and into the next two and then again you're going to repeat the same thing make six double crochets one two three four five six and into the next two at the end of this fifth row we're going to have 116 double crochets I'll meet you at the end of this fifth row I'm here at the end of the fifth row. I have a total of 116 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, chain two and turn. Now I'm using this other hook. It's the same size. The other one I didn't like. It was splitting the yarn and I don't like that. Now for this sixth row, what we're going to do is we're going to make seven double crochets and then two double crochets into the next. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets and into the next two double crochets. And then again, you're going to repeat the same thing. You're going to make seven double crochets and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this sixth row, we're going to have 130 double crochets. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this sixth row. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have a total of 130 double crochets. Now for the seventh row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, what we're going to do is we're going to make eight double crochets. Two, four, six, eight, and into the next two double crochets. So here to begin on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochets and into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of the seventh row. You're going to make eight double crochets and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this seventh row, you should have 144 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this seventh row. I have a total of 144 double crochets. Now for the eighth row, chain three and turn. Now here, what we're going to do is into the third double crochet, one, two, three, make a V-stitch. Each one of the V stitches is going to consist of a double crochet, chain one double crochet into the same double crochet here. Now skip one, two, and into the third, we're going to make a fan. Each one of the fans is going to consist of two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets into that same double crochet. Again, skip one, two, and into the third, another V-stitch. Skip one, two, and into the third, a fan. Skip one, two, and into the third, a V-stitch. And this is all we're going to do for this eighth row. You're just going to alternate between a fin and a v-stitch and separate it by two double crochets. Continue and I will meet you at the end of this eighth row. I'm here at the end of this eighth row. 
this is where we did fans and V stitches. If you count each one of the fans, these here, you should have a total of 23 fans. And if you count each one of the V stitches, you should have 24 V stitches. Now to finish this row, we're going to make a double crochet here on top of the last double crochet. And this is how I finish the eighth row. Now for the ninth row, chain three and turn. Now in this row, what we're going to do is inside the V stitches, we're going to make a fan and inside the fans, we're going to make V stitches. So here beginning inside this V stitch, make your first fan, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and then inside the fan, make a V stitch. Again, inside of the V stitch, make a fan. This is how we're going to continue for this ninth row. You're just going to now alternate between a fan and a V stitch inside of fans. That's all we're going to do. And that's what it looks like. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I finished the ninth row here at the end. I finished by making a double crochet into the second chain and the yoke is done and that's what it looks like. Now it's measuring from here to here. It's measuring about 4.25 inches, which is about 10.5 centimeters. Now, if we count each one of the fans and the V stitches, you should have 47 all around. So now, we're going to divide the sleeves in this next row. I like to start counting rows here. So we're going to start with the first row here. So chain three, turn. And for this part, we're going to do the same thing. Inside the fans, we make V-stitches. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And inside the V-stitches, we make fans two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and so on. I'm going to do this until I come to my stitch marker. Okay, so here's the front panel. I have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. Now to divide the sleeves, chain three. Now we're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and into this twelfth stitch, which is the V stitch, you're going to make a fan. Now we're going to continue for the back side in the same way. You're going to make a V stitch or a fan until you come to the next stitch marker. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to divide the other side. I finished making these stitches for the back side. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need to make one more. So into the V stitch, after the stitch marker, I'm going to make a fan. So now for the back side, we have, let me count the fans, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fans, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six V stitches for the back side. Here, I forgot to tell you, I have one, two, three V stitches, and I have three fans, one, two, three. Now, to divide the other sleeve, chain three, we're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and into the V stitch after the stitch marker, right here, make a fan. Now we're going to continue like this and finish this front panel. So continue, and I'll meet you at the end of this first row. 
I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we divided the sleeves. Now here at the end, I'm going to make a double crochet into this second chain. Now the sleeves are divided, so let me tell you how many stitches we have. If we count each one of the V stitches and the fans, you should have 25 in total. We have six for this front panel, six for this front panel, and we have 13 for the back side. Now, as reference, I'm going to tell you how many V stitches and how many fans we have. I have 13 fans, 13 of these fans, and I have 12 V stitches, so that's a total of 25. Now, for the second row, what we're going to do is we're going to chain three, and we're going to turn. Now, here we're going to do the same thing until we come to the three chains here. We're going to increase there, so here you're just going to do the same thing, a fan inside the Vs and inside the fans V stitches. So continue, finish working this front panel, and I will meet you right about here to show you how we're going to work these stitches under the sleeve. Okay, I'm right here under the sleeve. We have the next three chains. Into each one of the chains here, we're going to make V stitches. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the first chain, into the next chain, same thing, another V stitch, and into the third chain, same thing, one more V stitch. So here under the sleeve, we have three V stitches now. One, two, three. Now we have this next fan, make a V stitch inside this fan and then continue along for the back side in the same way, a fan, V stitch, fan, V stitch and so on. When you come here under the next sleeve, we have the next three chains, same thing. You're going to do three V stitches. So one V stitch for each one of the chains and then continue along and finish the second row. I will meet you at the end of this second row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. Here at the end, I made a double crochet into the second chain. Now, just for reference, I have a total of 31 of these stitches. And what I mean by stitches is the fans and the V stitches, I'm calling those stitches. Now, if we count each one of the fans, we have 12 fans, and if we count each one of the V stitches, I have 19 V stitches. Remember that in this row, we did an increase where we add three V stitches under the sleeves on each side. So here, for the third row now, we're going to chain three and turn. Now here we're going to do the same thing until we come to the V stitches under the sleeve. You're just going to make V stitches inside the fans and fans inside the V stitches. Continue and I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to work these three V stitches under the sleeves. Okay, I finished making these stitches here for this front panel. I have three V stitches and three fans. Now we have the three V stitches here under this sleeve three V stitches. Now we're going to continue with the same pattern. Here I have a fan, so into this V stitch here, I'm going to make a V stitch. Into the next V stitch, the second one here, I'm going to make a fan. And into the third V stitch, I'm going to make a V stitch. Now we have this V stitch for the back side. Make a fan. And now you're just going to continue with the same pattern. V stitch, fan, 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 V stitch, fan. I will meet you here to show you once again how we're going to work these three V stitches under the second sleeve. Okay, I finished making these stitches for the back side. Now we have the next three V stitches. So we're going to continue with the same pattern just like we did on the other side. We have a fan, so into this V stitch, I'm going to make a V stitch. Into the second V stitch, make a fan. And 
and into the third v-stitch a v-stitch and this is what it looks like a v-stitch a fan a v-stitch just like we did here v-stitch fan v-stitch now we're going to continue with the same pattern beginning here we have the next v-stitch for the front panel you're going to make a fan and then continue along and finish the third row continue and i'll meet you at the end of this third row okay i'm here at the end of this third row now to finish here at the end we're going to go into the second chain here and make a double crochet and this is how i finish this third row now if we count each one of these stitches the v stitches and the fans i have 31. from here on we're going to continue with this number of stitches we're not going to increase or anything we're just going to continue in the same way we're going to work a v stitch inside the fans and inside the v stitch we're going to make fans now for reference i have a total of 16 v stitches in this row and 15 fans so that's a total of 31 stitches now for the fourth row chain three and turn and here you're just going to continue in the same way inside the v stitches we make fans inside the fans we make v stitches and so on this is all we're going to do for this fourth row when you finish here you're going to finish by making a double crochet into the second chain then you're going to chain three turn and then repeat the same thing i'm not exactly sure how many rows i'm going to do from here on but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so i'll meet you at the end of that row Okay, I finished making this part. I did a total of 18 rows, um, starting from the row where we divided the sleeves. I have 18 rows. Now, this part here is measuring from the top of the shoulder to the end of this 18th row. It's measuring about 33.5 centimeters, which is about 13.25 inches. Now, if you want to make this part here longer, you can. I think that for the size that we're making this for, it's fine, but certainly you can make it as long as you want. Now, what I'm going to do here is I cut my yarn here at the end of this 18th row. So we're going to go right here to this other side. Make sure that you're on the right side. For me, this is the right side. This row here is the row of half double crochets. And as you can see, there's a little line there. So that tells me that it, that, that is the right side for me. So we're going to work the next row, row 19 from the inside. So we're going to turn this like this make sure that you're on the opposite side of where you finished this is where i finished so i'm going to insert my hook right here into this space i'm going to use this pink yarn it's the same weight yarn it's a dk weight yarn or you can also use a number three yarn chain one and into this same space here make a single crochet now what I'm going to do is I have the first fan, the first double crochet, I'm going to work a front post double crochet inside the chain one space of this fan. I'm going to make a V stitch and into the last double crochet of this fan, I'm going to make a front post double crochet. Now I have a V stitch next. So into the first double crochet, make a front post double crochet inside the v stitch make a v stitch and then finish with a front post double crochet one more time front post double crochet v stitch inside the fan and front post double crochet and the v stitch front post double crochet v stitch inside the v stitch and front post double crochet. This is how you're going to work each one of the fans and the V stitches and that's what it looks like from the inside and this is what it looks like from the right side. Continue and I will meet you at the end of this 19th row. Okay, I finished making this row, row 19. Here at the end, I finished by making a single crochet on top of this double crochet. Then I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop. Now we're going to make one more row. So for row 20, insert your hook here on top of this last single crochet, grab a loop here, chain one, turn, 
and on top of this single crochet here make a single crochet now if you're not changing color just chain one and turn now here what we're going to do is we have V stitches inside each one of the fans so here we're going to make a front post half double crochet into the first double crochet of the first V stitch inside the chain one space make a single crochet chain three single crochet and finish by making a half double crochet into this second double crochet again jump to the next v-stitch of the next fan and work a front post half double crochet single crochet inside the chain one space chain three single crochet again and finish with a front post half double crochet this is how we're going to work each one of the v-stitches and that's what it looks like this is the front side so continue finish this 20th row and i'll meet you at the end okay i finished making this last row here at the end i just did a single crochet on top of the last single crochet here and this part here is done this is the front side and this is the back the back is nice as well if you preferred this side then you're just going to start the other way now what we're going to do is we're going to go here on this side along the very edge and we're going to uh, fix this uh, a bit so chain one don't cut your yarn so just chain one and into this last single crochet that I did make a single crochet then into the next row the row in pink make a single crochet now we have this row here in white so make one single crochet there then make two single crochets in the next row one single crochet in the next two single crochets into the next one single crochet then two and then one and so on you're just going to continue like this alternating between two one two one two one all the way to the top I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next Okay, I finished making these single crochets here. I did a total of 43 single crochets. If you have two or three less or more, it's okay. Just make sure that this part here looks nice and you don't have too many single crochets. Otherwise, it's not going to look that great. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and turn. And in this second row, we're going to add buttonholes. I'm only going to add three. If you want to add more, you can do them in the same way that I'm going to show you here. So beginning on top of the first single crochet, make a single crochet, chain one, skip one single crochet, and into the next, make a single crochet. Here's the first buttonhole. Now here I'm going to make a total of six single crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets, chain one skip one single crochet and into the next make a single crochet and now again i'm going to make another six single crochets to make my third buttonhole that's two three four five six chain one skip one single crochet and into the next a single crochet so here are my three buttonholes one two three if you want to add more and leave more or less single crochets in between you can just do it here in, in the same way that i just showed you now i'm just going to continue and finish this second row so i will meet you here at the end i'm here at the end of this second row this is where we did buttonholes now chain one and turn for the third row in this row all we're going to do is just single crochets in the chain one space you're also going to make a single crochet continue finish this third row and I will meet you here at the top to show you what we need to do next okay I finished making this third row this is what it looks like now what we're going to do is the neckline so here chain one and right here into this last single crochet that we did make a single crochet here we're going to make three single crochets because we have three rows so one two three now what I'm going to do here around the neckline is I'm going to reduce the neckline a tiny bit but if you feel like it's okay you don't need to reduce anything you don't have to do the reductions that I'm going to do 
So beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a single crochet, single crochet into the next. That's two, three, four, five. Five single crochets here into the next two. Insert your hook, grab a loop, insert your hook into the next, grab a loop, three loops, close. Here's the first decrease. Now, again, I'm going to make five single crochets. That's two, three, four, five, and into the next two, insert your hook, grab a loop, insert your hook, grab a loop, three loops, close. And then again, repeat the same thing. Make five single crochets and into the next two, make your next decrease. This is how I'm going to continue all around the neckline. I'll meet you here at this other end. Okay, I finished making these single crochets around the neckline. I have a total of 55 single crochets. From the beginning here up to the last single crochet, I have 55 single crochets. Now, for this side, we're going to do the same number of single crochets we did from the other side, which is, in my case, I had 43. So I'm going to make 43 single crochets here. So here, to begin, chain one, and we have the first row of half double crochets here. Right along the edge there, make two single crochets, then one single crochet, two single crochets into the next, one, then two, then one, two, one, two, and so on, until you have the same number of single crochets. Once you finish this first row, you're going to chain one turn and then continue and work your way up making single crochets for that second row. And then I'll meet you here at the end of that second row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have 43 single crochets, chain one turn, and now we're going to work our way down making single crochets in the exact same way. One single crochet into each one of the single crochets. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this third row. Okay, I finished making this third row for this other side. Here at the end, I just cut my yarn, passed my yarn through this last loop, and this side here is done. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go right here to this other side. This is where we did our buttonhole, so we're going to make one more row. Now, to make this next row, I'm going to use a slightly smaller hook, this three millimeter hook. If you're using any other size hook, just go down half a hook size, and it's actually optional. You can even continue with the same hook size. So here, to begin, I'm going to do this next part with this pink yarn, and I'm going to attach my yarn right here to the first row of single crochet, see, right here. This is the first row of single crochets that we did for this side. So right there, insert your hook, grab a loop like this, bring it through the front, chain three. One, two, three. Now on top of the first single crochet of the third row, make a slip stitch. Chain three. Skip one single crochet and into the next make a slip stitch. Chain three, skip one single crochet and into the next make a slip stitch. Chain three, skip one single crochet and into the next a slip stitch. This is how I'm going to continue all around including the neckline and the other front panel. So continue all around and I will meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at this other end. Here, all I did was just make three chains, then finished here by making a slip stitch into the first row of this panel here. And then I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop, and this part here is done. And that's what it looks like. Here's the other side, and here's the neckline. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do one of the sleeves. I already went ahead and did this side. This is the front, so I did the left side and that's what it looks like. We're going to do it in the exact same way. Now this sleeve, I started here, bottom of the sleeve, and then I worked my way around the back and finished here in the front. Whereas this sleeve here, we're going to start same thing, right here, right under the sleeve, and we're going to go towards the front and finish in the back. That's the only difference. So everything else, all of the rows are going to be exactly done in the same way. So let's start here. 
we're going to go right under the sleeve. We have these V stitches here. So right in the center, right there, insert your hook. I'm using the same hook, the 3.5 millimeter hook, and I'm going to grab a loop here with this white yarn, bring it through the front, chain two, and then make a double crochet into this same space here. Now the two chains never count as a stitch. Now I need to make two V stitches and I'm going to make one right here and one right here. So I'm going to skip these three double crochets and right here I'm going to make a V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And the next one I'm going to make right here into this V stitch. This V stitch has this fan so into that same space, make another V stitch. So here I have a double crochet and two V stitches. Now I have the first fan here for the sleeve, make another V stitch there. Into the next V stitch here, make a fan. Here we're just going to continue with the same pattern, V stitches inside the fans and fans inside the V stitches. So continue all around and we'll meet you right here at this other end to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at this other end of this first row. I need to make two V stitches here to finish this row. So I have a V stitch into this fan, so I need to make my next V stitch right here into this V stitch. It's got this fan, but right here to the side, I'm going to make a V stitch. Then I'm going to go right here into this gap and I'm going to make my second V stitch here. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here's the first row. Now, if we count each one of these stitches, the V stitches, the fans, and the double crochet, this is what I have. I have a total of 16 stitches all around. I have 10 V stitches. I have one double crochet, and I have five fans for this first row. Now, for the second row, chain two, on top of this first double crochet, make a double crochet. Now I have these two V stitches. Inside this first one, make a double crochet. Into the second one, make a V stitch. And then I have the V stitch here for the sleeve. Make a fan here. And a V stitch into the fan. Here you're just going to continue all around in the same way, making V stitches inside the fans and fans inside the V stitches all around. I will meet you at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at this other end of the second row. I did my last fan. I have my last two V stitches into the first V stitch, make a V stitch. Into the second V stitch, make a double crochet. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here's the second row. Now for this second row, if we count the double crochets, the V stitches and the fans, I have a total of 16 stitches. I have three double crochets. I have seven V stitches and I have six fans. Now for the third row, chain two, on top of this first double crochet, make a double crochet. Skip this double crochet and on top of the V stitch, make a fan. Now we have this fan, make a V stitch. Now from here on, you're just going to continue with the same pattern all around. So I'll meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. I did my last fan and I have my first double crochet. We're going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this third row. Now, if we count the V stitches and the fans and the double crochet, I have a total of 15 stitches. I have seven fans, I have one double crochet and I have six V stitches. 
So that's a total of 15 stitches all around. Now for the fourth row, chain two and into this same stitch here, which is the first double crochet, make a double crochet. Now here I have the fan. In this fan, I'm going to make a V stitch. And then I have a V stitch next. So that's a fan that I'm going to do here. Here we're just going to continue with the same pattern. So I'll meet you right here at the end of this fourth row to show you how we're going to finish this row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have my last fan. Here on top of this fan, I'm only going to do a double crochet instead of a V-stitch. I'm going to now finish this row by going on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, if we count the V-stitches and the fans and the double crochets, for this fourth row, I have two double crochets, one and two, and I have six V-stitches and six fans. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain two and into this same stitch here, make a double crochet. Now I have a V stitch here, which is my first stitch. I need to make a fan. Then I have the fan, so I'm going to make a V stitch and so on. This is how you're going to continue. I'll meet you at the end of this fifth row to show you once again how to start and how to end each row from here on. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. Now to finish here, I'm going to skip this double crochet and I'm going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this fifth row. Now, if we count the double crochets, the fans and the V stitches, I have six fans, six V stitches and one double crochet. This is how we're going to continue from here on with 13 stitches until we have a total of 19 rows. So here, to start you off for row six, chain two, and into this same double crochet, make a double crochet. And in this row, I'm going to start with a V stitch. In the next row, you're going to start with a fan because you're going to alternate between fans and V stitches to continue with the same pattern. And that's all we're going to do all around for every row. Now, when you finish this row, you're going to join here to the top of the first double crochet with a slip stitch, chain two, and then make a double crochet into that same stitch and then continue on all around working the pattern in the same way. Now, we're going to do a total of 19 rows so continue and I'll meet you at the end of the 19th row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making 19 rows and this is what it looks like. So now what we're going to do for row 20 is we're going to chain two and into this same stitch here, make a double crochet. Now what I'm going to do here is I have this fan inside this fan. I'm going to make three double crochets. One, two, three into the next, which is a V-stitch, make two double crochets. Into the next, three double crochets, and into the next two. That's how we're going to continue for this row. Three, two, three, two, till you finish. So continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this 20th row. I have a total of 31 double crochets, not including the two chains. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for a total of three rows like this, we're going to make single crochets. So beginning here, chain one, and into this same stitch here, make a single crochet and one single crochet on top of each one of the double crochets so that you also finish with 31 single crochets. Now, when you finish, you're going to join here to the top of the first single crochet, chain one, and then make your first single crochet into that same stitch, and then continue for the second row, and then repeat for the third row. I'll meet you once we have these three rows of single crochets to show you how we're going to finish this last row. Okay, I finished making these three rows of single crochets. Here I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through this last loop. Now, what I'm going to do here for this last row, with this pink yarn, I'm going to insert my hook into the same stitch where I, where I did the slip stitch, bring it through the front, and chain one. Now, I'm using the smaller hook, the three millimeter hook, but you can also do it with the 3.5. If you're using any other hook size, just go down half a hook size. 
So here, chain three, skip one single crochet and into the next, make a slip stitch. Chain three, skip one single crochet and into the next, slip stitch. And this is how you're going to continue. Just chain three, skip one single crochet and into the next, a slip stitch. Now, when you finish, you're just going to join here to the beginning, right here, with a slip stitch, cut your yarn and pass your yarn through that last loop. So I'll go ahead and finish this and then I'm going to come back and show you the finished sleeve. Okay, I finished this last row here. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done and that's what it looks like. So the sleeve is all done. Now you're going to do the exact same thing I did here on this sleeve. You're going to do it here on this other side. Everything is the same. It's done exactly in the same way with the same number of rows in the beginning. Everything is the same. So here's the little cardigan all done i went ahead and sewed in some flowers here this is optional now make sure that when you add these little flowers they're nice and secured i went ahead and sewed mine in um, right here through the back and they won't come off so make sure that you do the same thing and again it's optional i just like to accessorize my garments a tiny bit more than others but it's always optional so here's the finished sleeve this here is the front now the little buttons that i used these here are nine millimeter buttons but you can use um, up to 11. i tried some 11 millimeter buttons and they work great too so i had these and i just um, decided to use them so here's the bottom this is what it looks like here's the other sleeve now let me show you the back there it is here's the back and the bottom I really love this trim here that we did at the bottom and here's the finished little jacket and that's what it looks like. So now let me give you the finished measurement. So from the neckline to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 34 centimeters, which is about 13.25 inches. From under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 22 centimeters, which is about 8.75 inches. I forgot to measure the width of the sleeve. Let's see. Uh, just the top, it's about 9.5 centimeters, which is 3.75 inches. Now, the length from the top of the neckline to the end of this last row right here, it's measuring about 34.5 centimeters, which is about 13.5 inches. And this part right across, from here to here, right across, it's measuring about 13 centimeters, which is about 5.25 inches. Now, the waist, this part here, it's measuring about 26 centimeters which is about 10.25 inches so based on these measurements this little cardigan sweater jacket or coat is for baby girls between 9 and 12 months but you can also make it smaller or bigger i'd say between three and six months and up to 18 to 24 months down here in the information box i'm going to leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out also as soon as i have the written pattern ready i'll go ahead and add it to my Etsy shop I'll go ahead and leave the link to the Etsy shop in the information box below as well now make sure to comment below and let me know what you want me to make next um, as part of this little set I can uh, make the little matching pants or maybe a little diaper cover bonnet or hat just comment and let me know what you think okay so this was today's tutorial I hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time